Exactly. All right. So let, let me ask you this. Uh, one of the things that that's really important in our firm is, is core values. We have a set of six core values and they're stuck on the refrigerator here at the office uh, for everybody yeah. to see every time they go into the fridge for something. Um, do, do, do you have a, a core value in your industry, in your business or that you, that, you know, of core value that you live your life by uh, that you, you, you'd be willing to share with us? You know, there are a few core values, but I think one, especially we talked about networking, um, is it, adventure. As, as, as wild as that may sound or seem, I mean, you hit so many different things when you choose to, to value adventure, whether, you know, it's, it's growing as an individual or taking a risk to, to, to put some growth into your business. But it also requires vulnerability, courage. And, and it, it really does. And so I, I like the one of adventure. It's not just growth. You know, you could say growth, but what are you talking about? Your bottom line, your net profit and growth as a person um, and really just experiencing new things and, and taking those risks and trusting in yourself. So I like adventure as a core value. <laughs> That's good. So like you put it, you put, okay, I'm going to do this. I could do it this way, which is less adventurous, or I could do it this way, which adds a little more adventure. So you put the two the, against on the balance, right? And so you, you're you saying you choose, I'm gonna go for the adventurous one, right? So mm -hmm. give us an example of maybe that that decision that you made and when, what was that? What does that look like in, in um, as, a, as a real life decision that you made that you wanna share? <laughs> Um, well, um, in March of 2019, I believe it was, yes, March of 2019, I was uh, one of the private sector uh, people of Laredo who went on the city's legislative trip to help support the city's initiatives in Washington, D.C. And I took a couple extra days after that trip, uh, and I visited with the uh, another association I'm part of, which is American Petroleum Institute. And I went and sat with uh, some of their um, key key um, employees, key um uh, members. And I talked to them about, you know, the NAFTA being the transition from NAFTA to USMCA and really what was at stake for international trade, mainly exports. And me being um, more focused on automotive, but again, I do have clients in the oil and gas sector. That's how I'm, I'm a part of API. Um, it was really interesting because what the, one of the persons across the table said to me is, thank you for coming. We never hear from our small businesses. Mm. We always hear from the largest ones at the top. So they invited me. They were having their 100-year anniversary gala the following week or two weeks from now, which, of course, you can't get a flight to D.C. from one week to another at a very reasonable rate. Right. So they were like, are you going to come? And I'm like, I had known about this event, but I didn't feel comfortable. Like, what would I be doing there? You know, again, you're thinking oil and gas industry. You're thinking some heavy hitters. And so um, I went. I went. They, I had introduced myself when I first put myself out there. Again, that vulnerability, the little adventurous side. So I, I, I peeked a little bit more into adventure. And I went and I went to the gala. And from there, I was invited to be um, at a private breakfast with the Canadian and uh, Mexican ambassadors to the United States. And from there, I was able to attend the final part of the executive board meeting. And I had a chance to see um, then Vice President uh, Pence address the room. So I was in a room of maybe a, 80 or so people with the vice president of the United States speaking and that talk about quite an adventure. I mean, who would have thought yeah. with ever, even, even in a crowd of like 10,000, would I have ever imagined I would see, um, you know, a vice president speak uh, into a crowd and be a part of that crowd, but to be part of such an intimate small group and have such a specific topic that was relevant to my business and the state of Texas as well was, 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 I don't know. I don't have a word for that experience other than like neat. Yeah. <laughs> it was a neat experience. Was, was there any particular fruit from that adventure that, that developed? I, I think just trusting in myself a, a lot more um, and, and realizing, um, you know, and I get this from some of my friends that, that work in various industries. Like I always downplay what my business does. I always downplay the impact my business has. And speaking of impact, that's why I got the LC Impact Award um, as well. You mentioned the Game Changer, but I do have the Impact Award as well from Laredo College. And, and just realizing that, you know, it's, it's part of leadership, lead by example, but put yourself out there. Push your comfort zone, be vulnerable, be courageous, and, and you just don't know what good you'll get out of it. That's awesome. 
Yeah. Thank you, Alma, for and, sharing. And, That's fantastic. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the thing, I think another takeaway that I see is, you know, when you're in a room with 80 people that are there and, and, and you have Mike Pence is, is giving the keynote, those, those people are, 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 are not like the frontline factory workers. These are the big wig decision makers. Um, and, and you had, you had the courage to say, Hey, you know what? I belong here. I can be here. And, mm -hmm. and that, you know, that confidence get, you know, it, it sets you apart and, and it, it carries forward into everything else you do uh, because, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you, you don't think of yourself just like, well, I have a little business in Laredo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's look at where I'm at. I was invited to here. I didn't, I wasn't looking for it. It found me. That means right. this is where I belong. So, so, you know, taking that risk on, on going on this adventure, you know, you, it puts you in a, in a place to, to maybe if, if you reflect on it, where you, where, where, where you stand in the rankings of, 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 uh, you know, your industry is, Hey, I'm in the top 80 people of this, of this place that got invited to, 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 to this particular event, you know? So, you know, and then the, the breakfast after, the, those people that show up to those things are not, you know, it's not entry level people. It's people who 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 can make decisions and whose opinions matter. And 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 so so that's something to really be proud of. Not just having been invited to it, but that you took the initiative and actually did it. Because that's the hard part. It's easy to say, well. I don't know. And I don't like drinking with my pinky up. And, you know, so, so, you know, it's, it's, it's having the courage to say, you know what, I do belong here and, and, and taking that, that step forward. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And to think when I, when I first started with the business and I would have to go and, and, and go to some of these events and try to find business and all these other things. And it was just so awkward and I didn't know how to be because I refused to be myself. And fast forward, you know, time, experience, little, little bit of wisdom, and 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 that being myself was able to get me and and open some of these doors, and and just just the rest of the adventure that awaits for me until I retire, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so adventure. Yeah. Entrepreneurship is an adventure, and it's it's a it's a roller coaster that that that, that goes up and it goes down, uh, but you know we're you know we 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 stick to it because. It, it, it's very, very rewarding. It's very rewarding. I, I love the way you, your core value is, is, is adventure. I, I think maybe we'll, we'll add something like that to it, to, yeah. to our list. That's, that, that's a great insight. For after hours, uh, core values. <laughs> very good. Well, thank you so much, Alma, for your time. How can people get a hold of you? Uh, we'd like to put some information in our description. And so if they, you know, if they can reach out to you uh, to find out more about what you do. Um, I, I like to use LinkedIn. Okay. LinkedIn. Um, I have it under, um, I believe it's the, the URL ends in um, Alma C. Acevedo, my little initial C. And um, that'd be best best for me. Uh, Great. I'm getting better at checking it. I am, but but I do, I do. Um, I do use LinkedIn. Sounds good. Well, great to have yeah. you. All right. Yes, thank you. For having me. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for your time. And uh, there'll be links to, you know, we'll try to get the link for your LinkedIn uh, on uh, at the at the bottom of the description, depending on what platform you're looking at. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That way we can get this uh, podcast and YouTube channel out to more people. If you're listening on Spotify or Anchor or any of the other podcatchers, uh, you know, hit the like and subscribe button. And that way you'll, you won't miss any, any episodes. Uh, thank you again. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye thanks.